this is the first audio recording on this channel. Just kind of a big move. It's kind of the first face reveal. So this video, I'm going to be talking about how to get better at building, if you read the title. So these aren't to like turn your new base, your small wooden house into a mansion. These are just to not have it a bland cube. Like I have it here. Have it more interesting. So the first building hack is um, to have a frame. So what over here, it's not interesting. It doesn't catch your eye because like it's just a cube, right? So what you want to do is instead of adding like a frame, because this is what a lot of people do. They just add a frame here. And it's really ugly. It still remains the same shape as a cube. So you have you want to be flexible with the shape. You want to be you want to be able to build with any shape you want. So what I usually do is I add wood pillars just over here. And once I finish, we'll take a step back and you can, you'll probably see that it's already like looking more interesting sorry about that that was my mom anyway so we're looking back and already it looks much better it looks less bland so um if you want to really be like a better builder you could also add <laughs> this is hard Give me one sec. So you really want to add like this top layer and it's being a bit glitchy, but I think you get it. So um, you want to have this top layer to just stick out a bit more, you know, not be a bland cube as I described. So uh, yeah, be right back. Okay, I'm finished with this top. And as you can see, it already looks much better. It looks more interesting. It catches your eye. So the next building hack I am going to do is to have a roof. As you can see over here, a flat thing isn't very interesting. You want a roof, but the roof should actually be one of the last thing you focus on. Let me explain. So the third step that I suggest is to have less of a cube shape. For example, let's just add a small area over here. Just, let's say, four blocks wide and just kind of expand a little. So we're going to go all the way to the top and uh, just add a bit more of a shape. So, let's just stick this out a little. So, I have this small little thing sticking out of here and already. And if you don't like it, don't be afraid to experiment. For example, I let's say I don't like how thin it is because let's say I just don't like that I'm just sitting here and it's just sticking out like just slightly. You might think that's a bit ugly and that's fine. You might want to take it out a few blocks and don't be afraid to experiment. Uh, this uh, YouTuber named Green really makes that clear in one of his first videos on also building tips. So that will be the first link in the description. So, yeah. Okay, so we could look back at it and we can see that it already looks slightly better. And remember, if you're changing up your build, like, a lot, don't forget to remember the other stuff. Like, if we just have another cube sticking out, it'll kind of keep the old vibe with kind of not a very good shape. So, oh, and don't never, always, like, never forget to, um not have a bunch of cubes and a bunch of lines. So as you can see here, when I finish the frame, um, 
there's going to be just this new line from the last time when I didn't add like an extra section of the house. So remember to delete it. It would look really ugly if you're just looking from the top. So we have got this thing here. Ooh, I forgot the frame here. See, I forget as well. So, and never be embarrassed of your build, okay? That sounded a bit aggressive, I'm sorry. Not really going to frame there because it's a bit cramped. So now you have more variation. So the third step is going to be the roof. Because once you have the shape all like up and running, you kind of want to cover for your house. So one of the best things to have on a roof is an overhang. Because again, I'm sorry, but it just gives a lot of depth. It lets the person who's looking at it know that you really care about this build and you want it to look good. So what I'm going to do here and have an, try to have an overhang on all sides. So even over here, like a one block overhang, that, that would be fine. And keep your roof consistent. Try not to raise it too much. And again, you can always experiment. Let's say you don't want this like just to or it to always go up that's fine you can go to like the same type that you're using for the stairs which i'm using cobblestone stairs and i could just use cobblestone and just raise it up a bit just like that that might add a bit more layering a bit more kind of a fresher build and you could just have, like, again, experiment. I'm sorry if I'm nailing it into your head, but it's very important that you're not afraid to try things out because you're never gon going to lose blocks if you're doing it in survival. In creative, you don't lose anything. And I'm just going to make it daytime real quick. So what I'm doing here is I'm just adding more curve, a bit more variation. So I'll be right back. All right, so I have just built my roof. And as you can see, I added some um, upside down staircases to just add more depth and to make it feel like, oops, to make it feel more like an actual roof. So my next step is decorations, which includes glass panes and just flowers everywhere and maybe like a nice trail but I'm not gonna do that today so yeah okay so as you can see I added some windows and I added some nice flowers over here so you can do anything you want you can add a, a path you can add a small garden a farm whatever you want so this is kind of like how to turn your house into more interesting and more of a special form. So let's walk inside. As we, and as we can see, the inside didn't change that much. I didn't add much. But the atmosphere already feels a lot bigger, a lot better, and just less cramped in general. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Go check out Grian uh, in the description. And bye. See ya.